Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing about implementation of routing in packet tracer. So, obviously, I will need a router and, uh, and I am going to attach two PCs with this router. So, when you click on the router, you could find the interfaces attached with the, so it is still booting. Okay and uh, in config tab you could find the interfaces in router gigabit ethernet 0 bar 0 ethernet interface 0 bar 1 is available and uh, in this is the cli mode command line interface mode either you can configure in this way uh, directly graphically you can configure or you can configure in cli mode as well so we will learn about uh, configuring in cli mode a bit later on now i will configure things with uh, graphical mode now I will have to physically connect all the three devices. So I will choose uh, since it is these all the th three devices are identical devices. I will be preferring copper crossover cable because identical devices will be connected with crossover cable and identical device unidentical devices with straight through cable. So 0 bar 0 to 0 and then uh, 0 bar 1 to 0. A router always interconnects two different networks. A switch will be connecting a local will be, a switch will be used to establish a local area network, but a router always interconnect two different networks. We will see. So I will label this one first. So I will be assigning 192.168.10.2 here for this interface 192.168.10.1 I will assign and for routers the other interface I will assign 192.168.11.1 and uh, for PC I am going to assign I am just labeling I am not assigning address any IP address now I am just labeling what to be done 11.2 2 okay i have labeled it now let me do the logical connectivity click on the router switch on the interface 192.168 gigabit ethernet 0 bar 0 i am assigning 192.168.10 sorry 10.1 subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and for the other interface if i try to assign in the same domain dot 10 dot uh, 3 it won't accept because the for the other interface gigabit ethernet 0 bar 0 i have assigned what 192.168.10.1 dot dot with the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and this ip address 192.168.10.3 dot 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 will belong to the same domain i cannot assign the same domain ip address for the next interface of the router so i'll have to assign with the different domain since router always interconnect two different networks i'll have to go for different domain here 192.168.11.1 here subnet mask assigned switch it on okay close it now two interfaces of the router are assigned now so for the pc i'm going to assign 192.168.10.2 here okay subject mask 255.255.255.0 close it and uh, for pc1 i'll be assigning uh, 192.168.10.2 sorry 11.2 subject mask assigned this is on okay now let me check the connectivity go to pc desktop the other pc's ip address is 192.168.11.2 and this will be failed when you connect a switch between two pcs you will easily get connected with the other pc by simply assigning the ip address logical address you can get connected with the other pc now Okay, let me close it the connectivity got failed actually okay let me close it 
now go to CLI press enter exit exit again I am getting the hash prompt for the router or if you type exit again you will get to the user privilege mode this is user privilege mode type enable I will get the ha hash prompt so in this hash prompt type show space IP space route okay. so these are this is the routing table of the router where I could see the directly connected networks okay. so this is the routing table okay let me check after a reconfiguration of the router okay now this PC is throwing the packet uh, let me check the ping with the router ping ping space 192.168.10.1 is the router's IP address it is connected for the other interface of the router that is 11.1 .1, it is not connected request timed out so obviously the request timed out for the other two messages as well ok now what is the problem here so this PC this network 192.168.10.0 is connected to gigabit ethernet 0 bar 0 to uh, PC 0 so this network does not know how to get connected with this network ok so the PC should be instructed to throw whatever enquiry regarding whatever network to the router so you should be assigning the gateway of this network as 192.168.10.1 that is the router's IP address as a gateway for this PC so that this PC will be forwarding whatever enquiry regarding whatever network to this router and then the router will decide where to forward ok so I will close it and for this PC as well the same procedure 192.168.11.1 will be the gateway for this network and the, for this PC attached I am assigning the gateway close it now if I try to ping 11.1 ok the routers other interface from this PC is working now and I will ping 192.168.11.2 that is this PC to the other PC the first packet got dropped and the rest of the packets are working uh, now if I ping again it is working so it is very important to assign the gateway when you attach the router with the PC okay. so that the PC will come to know about where to forward the packet once it is forwarding to any unknown network so it, it should throw the packet to the router so now let me attach another router with this router and let me attach another PC with that router ok now I will have to go for gigabit 0 bar 0 to fast ethernet 0 so I will attach another PC as well PC. gigabit 0 bar 1 to fast ethernet 0 ok now these two routers should be connected so router to router connectivity should always be serial connectivity and uh, when we check for the serial connectivity only there are two interfaces now we will have to add two other two other interfaces to connect with other router so go to physical zoom in you could find a switch physical kind of switch switch it off and uh, this WAN interface card HWIC2T is the WAN interface card drag and drop it here and then switch it on ok and now go to config it's still booting ok ok all the addresses are cleared now we will have to reassign everything Okay, the router and now this router should be connect it does not have serial port again ok so this router should be given serial port switched off zoom in switched off 
Now go to serial connectivity, serial DC is there, the one with the clock symbol, click on it, connect with serial, serial 0 bar 1 bar 0 to serial 1 bar 0 and place your mouse icon over the cable, you will find the clock symbol getting displayed over here. So this is the DCE part of the network, DCE and the other part is the DTE part. DTE that is digital communication equipment data communication equi equipment and this one is data terminal equipment you can relate this network with your home network uh, you will be you might be having modem in your uh, home where your modem is connected with the public exchange so the public exchange part is the DC part and the, your end user modem part is your DTE part. So, this will be your internal network, this will be your external network DTE part. Now, I will have to assign IP address for everything. So, I will label it before I assign. So, I am going to assign 10.0.0.0 network over here. I will just type down the network address here and while assigning, I will assign the IP address based on this network. And here, I am going to assign 192.168.1.1. For the other okay, 192.168.14.0, I'll assign. Okay. Now the router has to be assigned. This one is 192.168.10.1 and switch it on, close it. Sorry, and the other one 192.168. 11.1 submit mask switch it on and serial 0 bar 1 bar 0 10 dot 0 dot 0 dot 1 switch it on so now all the three interfaces of the router are configured close it and now we will have to configure before that this is 0 bar 1 bar 0 ok for serial 0 bar 1 bar 0 I will have to assign 10.0.0.2 switched on and gigabit ethernet 0 bar 0 I will assign 192.168.10.1 and gigabit ethernet 0 bar 1 bar 0 0 bar 0 and gigabit ethernet 0 bar 0 bar 0 and gigabit ethernet 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 0 I will assign the PC. So, gateway will be 192.168.13.1 and uh, fast Ethernet 0 192.168.13.2. So, sit on, close it, and this one config 192.168.14.1. One will be the gateway for this network and uh, the PC's IP address will be 192.168.14.2. Okay, close it. Now, if we check this PC is connected with 192.168.14.1. Sorry, ping. It's connected to 14.1 for this interface, and uh, I'll check for the other interface 13.1. It is also working from this PC to this in PC interface. It is working, and 13.2. The first packet got dropped, and the rest of the things are connected. Okay, let me check again. Okay, it is connected from this PC. To all the interfaces for this network as well it is connected and if I check for uh, 10.0.0.1 the serial connectivity it is not working sorry 
to this interface I have connect checked it is not working okay it is request time dot actually in the two as well it is working from this pc to this interface all these interfaces are working but from this pc to this interface it is not working so it should be the same way for this pc everything is assigned okay i'll go to desktop command prompt ping 10.0.0.1 it is working for 2 it is not working so it shouldn't work actually okay it is not working so from this pc from it it could not reach this network and from this pc it could not reach network uh, this network obviously this these networks the pc cannot reach these network pcs so we should be instructing the routers to forward the packet whenever some enquiry comes for this network or this network so that could be done using static routing initial way of doing the routing so in static routing you should be configuring the unknown networks for that router so for this router these two networks are unknown networks okay you can check check it here in the routing table if you are checking so directly connected networks are here 10.0.0.0 network is there 10.0 net now 92.160.10.0 network is directly connected and 192.160.11.0 network are directly connected so it is not aware of these two networks so we should instruct the router whenever some enquiry comes for these two networks where to forward the packet so for that we will have to configure the static routing unknown networks to it will have to reach these two networks 192.168.13.0 network with the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and to reach this network it will have to forward the packet that router 1 will have to forward the packet to 10.0.0.2 to this interface this could this network could be reached and uh, add another static routing path to 14.0 networks that is to reach this network that router has to forward the packet to this interface add now close it and for this router we will have to do the same con kind of configuration go to static to reach 192.168.10.0 network with subnet mask 255.255.255.0 the next stop should be 10.0.0.1 add and for the other network 11.0 this network through this interface that router has to forward the packet close it now if you try to ping the other network ping space 192.168.10 sorry ping space 10.0.0.2 from this router to this interface i am going to check the connectivity it is working okay and uh, now i'll check the connectivity for 192.168.13.2 it is working again and uh, 14.2 it is working so i could be able to ping from this pc to this pc this pc everywhere so this is how static routing will be working so thank you bye